actually a question that has puzzled mathematicians and scientists throughout history, because apart from a biblical God, it doesn't make sense why one plus one equals two, because we're able to develop math on paper and then it coincides with creation and we can use it to build rockets that actually Ooh. work, right? And gravity right. is consistent day after day. Well, gravity, we write that with math. Math is a way of describing God's creation. Mm. One plus one equals two, because day after day, year after year, God is faithfully governing creation in a consistent fashion. And so every time you solve a math problem and you see mm -hmm. that, hey, addition is still working the same way. It's a reminder that God is still faithful and he is still governing creation consistently. There's a verse I just want to read from Jeremiah, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. it's Jeremiah 33, 25 through 26. It says, thus says the Lord, if I have not established my covenant with day and night and the fixed order of heaven and earth. So that fixed order would include like those consistencies we're labeling with addition and subtraction, and multiplication, division. Right. Okay. Then I will reject the offspring of Jacob and David, my servant. So God's saying, look, you can see from creation, from this fixed order that I'm a covenant keeping God. And I'm going to be faith, just as faithful. In this case, he's pointing out his covenant to Jacob and David. Mm -hmm. But it's reminding us that he is a covenant-keeping God. So mass message, it should be shouting out to you and to your children every time you use it, that I better trust God because he's going to do what he says, just mm -hmm. as faithfully governing creation in a consistent way. Mm -hmm.